Artists from around the world visited Breckenridge this past week to compete and craft the most dazzling of all cold creations. News 5's John McMichael visited the 32nd Annual International Snow Sculpture Championships for us and brings us this report. It's a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. And it's especially a beautiful day for doing what? Making a snow sculpture here in downtown Breckenridge. So today is the last day of this snow sculpture championship in Breckenridge. There's so much variety and there's so much, everyone's doing something completely different. Well, what feels familiar every year to have these beautiful sculptures in downtown Breckenridge? The nature of the event is very dynamic. We have different teams and each team has different designs every year. You know, they might do a huge design one year and then a smaller, more scaled back design the next year. This year we have 12 teams representing eight countries. We are from Team India. I'm from England. I'm in Team Denmark. First year in Breckenridge. First time in America. First time in America. And what a birth. <laughs> I got to go to Breckenridge as the first thing. And I think it's the best place. Well, it's nice to be able to go back home and, uh, you know, say, oh, I've just been away doing this for, for you know, the past week. And it's, uh, people are like, what? <laughs> it's bragging rights forever. <laughs> yeah. When people look at your sculpture, what are you hoping that they, that they see, that they take away? Well, I hope that they just like the shape. <laughs> what can I say? We give them a shape and then they have to feel something inside of them and analyze it in the way that they want to. When you say sculpture, it makes you think of art, but there's probably an 80% engineering project over an art project. It's the how are you going to accomplish this? You need to be up so high, stand on something with razor blades in your hand and not fall off because it's just a little ledge. So you got to plan for those things, you know? How's it going? Well, this thing is going to be around for about the same amount of time that it took to make it. How do you feel about that? Well, at least we can take photographs. There's no other medium that you can make something so big and then not have to deal with it afterwards. You don't have to put it someplace. It just melts. Say if all these were stone, they would be around for thousands and thousands of years. We just couldn't keep doing it, could we? And it's amazing because it makes you have to come back to Breckenridge because next year it will be new sculptures. Is the best part of this yeah. being able to make something out of this giant block of snow or is the best part seeing the friends that you've oh, made yeah. over the years? It's both, actually. It's definitely like a family reunion. It's like a fraternity of artists who are coming together and trying to do work together. We have been sharing gifts, we have been sharing stories, meals, uh, you know, so all of this is like this, this spirit of championship and especially as an artist championship, I think that's very beautiful about this championship.